Hello, in this video I'm going to look at a problem solving for the volume using washer method. So let's say that we have a manufactured drills through the center of a metal sphere of radius 4 inches. The hole has a radius of 2 inches. Find the volume of the metal ring using washer method. Now what we see here in the picture down below is that this is the cross section of the metal sphere but with the hole drilled through it which it has a radius of 2 inches. Now in that case this represents the cross section of our metal ring. So that means that we need to find an equation with respect to, uh, let's see, with respect to y. So we first start with the following, x squared plus y squared equals to 4 squared which is 16. Now before I get my function of y, um, let's say that we need to get the points of intersection. So we go ahead and we let x equal to 2 since that's where the line meets with our circle with radius 4. So we have 2 squared plus y squared equals to 16 and then you get y squared equals to 12. We furthermore just take the square root on both sides and this gives us that y equals to plus or minus root 12 or if you'd like to reduce it even further that's just 2 root 3. Now in actuality um, we're just going to find an equation with respect to x so to do that we just solve for x so once we do that then we can start. So let's say that we take x squared equals to 16 minus y squared and then we take the square root on both sides so now we have that x equals to okay so we have that x equals to the square root of 16 minus y squared so here we have that the right hand side over here represents square root of 16 minus y squared and the left hand side over here represents x equals to 2 so with that we're going to use the following formula. We're going to use that the volume is equal to pi times the integral from c to d of, okay, so in this case, um, the formula using washer method says that you take f of y squared minus g of y squared, and then uh, you have dy. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we can go ahead and set this up. So we know that basically the volume is going to be equal to the integral from negative 2 root 3 and then we have 2 root 3. We have pi multiplied by, okay so our rightmost equation that we're going to plug in is the square root of 16 minus y squared. So we have the square root of 16 minus y squared and all of that is squared minus well here you're going to take 2 and square it and then close it and then you have dy now simplifying this a little bit we have that this is still going to be the integral from negative 2 root 3 to 2 root 3 times pi multiplied by 16 minus y squared minus 4 and that's going to still be dy Okay, now what does this give us? It gives us uh, a nice little integral that we can solve. So we have negative two root three, and then we have two root three, and then we have pi multiplied by 16 minus, uh, not 16, but 12. Okay, so we have 12 minus y squared, and this is gonna be dy. Now, in actuality, this is actually a even function. Um, so we can say that we can multiply this by two, and let's just put the pi on the outside, and then we have zero, and then we have two root three, and then uh, we still have the same integrand. So we have 12 minus y squared, so not much has changed except that we changed the lower bounds using symmetry. So from here uh, we have 2 pi, so we're going to actually use the anti-power rule. 
So now we have 12y from 0 to 2 root 3 minus uh, 1 third and then we have uh, y cubed and that's from uh, 0 to 2 root 3 and then we'll just close this uh, set of parentheses and then we should not forget to distribute the 2 pi. So let's go ahead and evaluate this. So we have 2 pi multiplied by 12 times 2 root 3 minus 1 third. Now when you plug in 2 root 3 um, cubed, uh, one thing that you should notice is that basically you have, uh, okay, so let's say 24 root 3 minus 1 third. Now, the 2 cubed is going to be times 8, but then you have, uh, this is 3 to the 1 half, so in that case, that's going to be 3 times uh, root 3. So we notice that basically because, yeah, when you took the root 3 and you cubed it, because this is the same as 3 to the 1 half, and then it's cubed. That's why we get uh, 3 uh, to the 3 halves, and then that's just going to be 3 times root 3. So it's the same thing, because you have that that's to the 1 and that's to the 1 half. But in either case, uh, we see that basically you have cancellation, so you have that the 3s cancels out. And then uh, continuing this, we end up with 2 times uh, 24 root 3, and you still have the pi, minus 8 root 3, and what this gives you is equal to 32 root 3 pi units cubed. So that's going to be the answer to the volume of the metal ring. Now let's say that if we wanted to look at the um, picture this is what the rendering of the metal ring would look like in 3D. So notice that you have the metal sphere and then what's cut out is basically um, more than just the cylinder but also kind of like the caps. So if you wanted to say for example find the volume of the hole you can actually do that um, but you take into consideration the caps essentially because you have that it definitely is a cylinder that gets generated and then you can use geometry to figure that out which means that you can estimate the caps as well in either case so um, what's kind of interesting is that yeah we can use that the uh, volume of a sphere is uh, four thirds uh, pi r cubed now one thing though that you can try is say for example you have that there's a uh, circle with radius r but we say like x squared plus uh, r squared and then let's say that um, you know we have that the radius of the hole is given by the lines uh, you know plus or minus little r and then in that case that means that you can probably derive an equation that solves for the volume of the hole. But the question though is like, you know, how would you do that? Should you uh, generate it in um, the x and y axis using uh, Washer's method about the x axis or the y axis? And furthermore, is there an easier way to actually solve for the volume of the hole or the, um, you know, the volume of the, um, the metal ring?